Apocalypse Inc. Productions presents 5-Minute Stories, written and read by Jennifer Brozek. 5-Minute Stories, a little bit of story to last you all day. This story is called Addictions. Christ, what happened here? Lynn closed the door to Alice's apartment. Alice was lying on her computer desk, one hand on her mouse. Her monitor was dark. From the smell of her, the littered soda cans, and the discarded snack wrappers lying around the computer desk and the floor, Alice had been at her computer for days. At the sound of Lynn's voice, she raised her head. Help. Please. Lynn walked over to Alice, not touching anything. What are you doing? The game. It won't let me go. Alice struggled with every thought as she slumped backwards in her computer chair in an attempt to sit up. Her hand remained on the mouse. I tried. The more I won, the more I wanted to play. Game? What game? The gem game you gave me. But I started losing. It When, when I lose, it eats me. Eats you, Lynn frowned. The game eats you. Alice nodded, rubbing her cheek against the chair. When I couldn't win, it wouldn't let me go. I managed to unplug the monitor. I can't see the game to play. She looked from Lynn to the dark monitor and back again. But it's still on. It won't let me go. You've got to help me. Lynn nodded. I see. She crouched down behind the computer and looked at everything. Okay. I see the monitor cord. Where's the power strip? To the right. Turn it all off. Alice slumped forward and laid her head down on the desk again. However, instead of everything on her computer desk powering down, the monitor clicked to life, and the game, a simple, competitive, match-three-of-a-kind game, flickered into view. Alice looked at it with exhausted horror. No, turn it off. It's killing me. Please, Lynn. There we go. Lynn patted Alice's shoulder. I knew something was wrong when you were still alive. You have to finish the game, or it won't work, and it's got to work. I need you and it to work. Alice's hand moved on its own, beginning the next game. She didn't answer except with mouse clicks and pleading flicks of her bloodshot eyes. Oh, I knew that was the perfect game for you. You're so addicted to video games. I knew it would be easy to get you to play. Lynn went to the couch and sat down. I have an addiction, too. It's to life and I need a new charm. She touched her darkened crystal pendant at her breast. I have lived for a very long time, and I intend to continue to do so, but I need your life force for that. The computer video game has become the perfect collector. When it's finished collecting you, you'll cry a single crystal tear and die. That crystal will keep me alive and young for another twenty years. Lynn paused as she realized she'd lost her audience to the computer screen. She didn't mind. The point of death was always a beautiful sight. It wouldn't be long now. Apocalypse Inc. Productions hopes you have enjoyed this story by Jennifer Brozek. If you would like to read it, or others like it, it is available in 5-Minute Stories, Volume 3, by Jennifer Brozek on Amazon.com.